So, good morning, honey. Yeah. <laughs> He's been super good this morning. Or at least I think so because I was sleeping. <laughs> he cried when he was with Brian, but it's okay. We got his butternut squash going, and then I got my lemon sliced here, Parmesan, ready for this um, dish here, the fish dish. And breakfast is served soon. Hi, honey. Um, You're so pepper. sweet. Mm. And here it is, my cod dish. What up, D? To the store today, got some goodies, uh, snacks. Today is the weekend, so chill out for a moment. I'm in line at Popeyes. It's not too long. Definitely slowed down by a lot. Good for me. Popeyes chicken sandwich. Oh my goodness. Yes. Popeyes. We got chicken sandwiches, and of course, I love, love their popcorn shrimp. Popcorn shrimp. Did we eat two hours ago? <laughs> you did. <laughs> I barely ate. Damn. You know, you don't have to eat now if you don't want to. We ate two hours ago. Bomb. With that cocktail sauce though. Damn, dog. Here it is. Oh, yeah. We're getting super, super duper fat. We're quarantining. Quarantini. <laughs> Vin's got some time. <laughs> time on his hand. He plated my cod fish. So. He's very into culinary arts. I've played everything. So culinary it's gotta arts. look nice before you eat it. Me, it's like this. All right, him, that. That's Indomie, by the way. <laughs> Make it nice. It's all in here. Mm -hmm. I just got back from the um, fast food restaurant as well as the store. A lot of people are out there today. Nobody's quarantining. Like um, a lot of people at the ranch market, a lot of people at Costco. Everyone's just roaming around, chilling. It's very interesting to see. Um, some areas where it's completely empty and some areas where it's completely packed. So Where are the empty areas? Areas where people visit, like when you travel the world, you see the churches are empty, the uh -huh. mosques are empty. Um, just big visitor areas, where are the club, right? Tourist? Tourist Touristy areas. areas, yeah. Touristy areas are all out. The Chinese people Disneyland gone. is shut down, all those oh, places, geez. you know? Anyways, um, I wanted to make tacos, but I could not find hot sauce at the store for the life of me. So I went to Del Taco, got my husband a shrimp burrito right here, and oh, oh, Del Taco. Up with some <laughs> sauces. <laughs> so you use this as an excuse. Yes. Hey man, I supported you. I just need your sauce. But we're having tacos tomorrow. And so I think Del Scorcho is better than Taco Bell. That's why I stopped by Del Taco instead. What do you think? I like, I like Del Taco. That's okay, so we have Del Inferno, so it's way too spicy for Vin. We got Del Scorcho. Del Scorcho. And then we have um, Del Mild. Yeah. It's not even Del. <laughs> it's called just mild. just mild. Mild sauce. Anyways, they should call it Del. This is for tomorrow's taco um, thing that we're going to do. And um, they burnt the food to finish. Hmm? They burnt it. Yeah, they burnt it a little bit. But, um,. Vin has never had a Popeye sandwich. What? Yeah. Never. Huh. Never. Try it. He hasn't lived yet. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Well. Is it better than Chick-fil-A? Well. Yeah, I think so. King of fried chicken, you know? Mm-hmm. Popeye or um Church's chicken. Mm-hmm. So it's like how it's supposed to. How their chicken is. Mm -hmm. This is a thigh, right? I think so. Um. I got you a shrimp burrito. What you doing eating chicken? <laughs> <laughs> you got the sauce right. You good. <laughs> Staying healthy. You got the sauce right. You good. good. Is this a spicy one? There's a regular one. I, well, I don't know about staying in line for like four or five hours. For there's this. no more line anymore. I know, but just mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. the, the face. Right, so um, I also got some tea from Popeyes. I've never had it. I asked them if, if it was like Lipton tea. They're like, no, it's not Lipton tea. I was like, okay, don't get offended, okay? <laughs> but I'll try it. Here it is. Um, and it costs $5.99 for a gallon. This is boba tea, and it costs 30 something dollars for a gallon. So I'm gonna try it out and see which one we like better. Do blind test. You already know which one's which, right? Okay, yeah, I know. I've never yeah, had good. this, but let's do a test. Actually, I never had it too, so I never drank either. You never drink the boba? No. 
Okay. So turn around. Come on. Well, those cups are clear. It doesn't matter. All right. Just turn around. Go to the peek roof. Interesting. Is it ready? It's not good because it's too hot. No. All right. It's good because of the hot. Okay. Here. A and B. Just A, right? Just A. You gotta get into frame right here. Where? Right here? On the other side. On the yeah, right there. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know which one this is. <laughs> you already know. Yeah. And then you tell me which one you like better, and if it's worth the price. Well, you can tell. Oh, it's pretty what? obvious. It's like day and night. Well, look at the colors of it. When you want your eyes it? closed. Oh! That one. Oh, that it's <laughs> it's a lot sweeter. Oh, yeah, that's why. And also, um, the, <laughs> it's colder. The other one just tastes like normal tea. Mm -hmm. Normal, which isn't bad, but it's normal tea. From a five dollar to a thirty dollar, it's missing that corn syrup that makes it both tea. And which one would you choose? I think I'm saying. No, 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 no. We have to count down. So three, two, one. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Two. You point at it. But you oh, okay. <laughs> what do you like? I like the less sweet one. Oh, I like one? that one. You only like it because it's less uh, calories, but yeah, the other one's just too ultimately, sweet. Ultimately, right? I think if you wins. add more ice to water it down, maybe add a little bit of milk, mm -hmm. soy milk, and then it'll be more sweet. But oh, you want to try? But you could do the same thing with the other. I think the test is if you make milk tea out of both of them. Okay, uh -huh. you got your soy milk. We don't have soy milk. You don't? I don't have soy milk. Oh, yeah. No soy milk. Well, Boba wins. And um, also got myself some snacks. Let me show you. Got some wine to wind down while we're quarantining. Ooh. We should get a martini. Or a quarantini. Get it? <laughs> All right. Hoppy snacks. Love, love, love these chili bits. Comes with peanuts this time, so it's kind of weird. But I guess peanuts are okay. What's that zombie movie? The like Walking that. Dead. Like to where you go out and you get supplies and you come back. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you stay home. Um, chocolate and Korean barbecue sauce. That I'm gonna marinate in a moment. There we have it. Quarantine. So here is the recipe. We got Korean barbecue from Costco. Well, not Korean barbecue, but um, beef short ribs, Korean barbecue style. So it's sliced up this way. And then I'm gonna put this in and Coke in. I don't know what Coke does, Vin does this, but uh, I think maybe it adds a little bit of sweetness, something like that. But after that, I'm going to put in an onion. So one of these babies. There we have it. Marinated short ribs. We are quarantining. <laughs> So that means just stay in, not doing much. I mean, I did go out earlier to get some groceries and, and whatnot to cook the food because if I don't cook the food, I bought a lot the other day and if I don't cook it, then um, it'll go bad. So that would be a waste. So I wanna be able to get that in before it goes bad. Staying in so we have some time to chill and relax and cater to baby at all hours of the day, minutes, seconds. He's been really, really needy and I have been Trying to wean him off, but I'm a huge sucker, so I have been feeding him with my breast, and I think my boob is um, kind of healing because I don't feel the pain anymore. Whenever he bites, I'll just be like, no, no, do not bite me. That's mommy's boobies. If you wanna bite, then we're done. And then he kind of understands, he smiles, and then he, he stops. I guess uh, as long as you keep telling him, then he'll learn, he'll learn. He's a a learning machine. Babies absorb everything. So just keep going at it and it's good for his health. We're definitely going to slow it down because he's been doing every single hour. I can't do that anymore. He has to do every single three hours or so. So if he's hungry, then he's got to eat the formula and then to the breast milk back and forth. Just interchange with the two um, types. So you get the best of both worlds. No, no. What? Oh, you want to show me <laughs> something. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. See that? That's like loose. Look at that. Look at that right there. That looks like a lot of tissue right there, huh? Mm -hmm. When's that gonna rip out? Okay, don't look at it. <laughs> it's like, heal. Oh my gosh. Oh my He's goodness. just 
like taking pictures of his <laughs> his wound every single day, and it's the like oh yeah, my god, right there. look at him, he's so look at that meat right there. Oh. The one that goes in there and comes out. Oh my god, that looks like it's gonna fall. This one fell out. Wherever this one was. Don't take a photo oh, every day. Leave it alone. Woo! You said only a few weeks. So keep it clean. Safe. Keep it clean and. Oh. You be good. You be good. Just keep eating and flushing out your system. All right, so we had some time since we're quarantining. So let's answer some questions on our YouTube comment section. So Violet Bell says, "You and your hubby have two different styles of parenting and polar opposite ends." I see how Ryan looks at you and is truly adorable. It shows the connection you built with him. But at some point, you and your hubby have to meet in the middle on parenting, adjustment, and growth. Good luck. Yes, yeah, so we are definitely working towards it. Brian's just super busy for the past couple days, but he has been trying to get better and spend time with baby. And also, since we're quarantining, he's working from home. So uh, he doesn't have to go into the office and you know miss out on baby's growth here and there and helping me out as well because sometimes baby is just really like um, needy and I need a breather because the boob is not going to work 24 hours and his fussiness sometimes Brian is better putting him down than I am it really depends on his mood every single day it changes and we have to just learn him and how he reacts every single day and he changes every day every day how come Anyways, um, let's move on to the next person. Kaylin Nguyen says, I'm going to try this recipe. Haha, <laughs> thank you. So this is referring to my kanji recipe. You have to. It's so good, so simple, and um, good for your health, especially when you're sick. Cindy Nguyen says, he is too adorable. Thank you so much. Nakisha Rushi says, I figured you were the breadwinner. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> Um, he was wasting and spending money. He's literally a house husband for now until things are good. All of my exes had the freedom to do what they please, spending money I gave for habits like alcohol, weed, etc. Okay, so this person is just saying that um, <laughs> she handled a lot with her significant other. Um, saying that Brian's a house husband is definitely a little bit far-fetched because he's not close to being a house husband because a house husband We'll cook and clean, take care of baby, and do chores and whatnot, but he's been working a lot, and he's more like a contractor, so contractors are like, sometimes you go out there, you have to get the contract to secure your business, and especially with a business owner, you don't have a routine. It's very unpredictable if you're a contractor, so sometimes you're good, sometimes you're bad, but to say he's definitely not making any income, then that's like, a bigger problem if he wasn't but um, he's doing well he's just stressed here and there when contracts are ending so he has to hustle more I'm a contractor too I work on my own time and I perform here and there but every single month it's not going to be fulfilled like the month of March right now is scared of the coronavirus so no shows for me and it's pretty normal anyway during the month of March because it's also tax season, so people don't want to spend their money. They don't want to go out and hang at the clubs and have a good time because they're focused on their taxes. They want to save their money. So naturally, this time of the year, March, April, springish time after the whole uh, new year, then it's difficult for um, shows. So I, me and Brian, we're both contractors. Some days are good, some days are bad. Months here and there. It really depends on the market and the season and the economy. But yeah, um, he's been doing well. He just did his taxes and it turns out he's positive for the revenue and profit. So he's trying to figure out to buy more things. I'm like, dude, just pay the taxes. You don't need to buy more things. You're good. So um, yeah, definitely not a house husband. I think he just needs to focus on being more present with baby here and there. But it's okay. We're, we're working at it as a team and I'm sure we're going to get better and be stronger for the future of our little family. Chloe V says, I'm in love with your voice. Thank you so much. Chindel says, hi, Amin, you're such a great mom. I have been watching your channel for a couple years. I remember that you were worried and stressed of not wanting or not knowing how to take care of baby. You're a great mom. Aw, thank you. I hope so. This baby is just like constant attention. <sighs> MK says, keep on listening to your mom instinct. Clap, clap, clap. This is a clap back at Brian. Pay attention to baby <laughs> when I give him some lip action about not hanging out with baby. 
So Daisy Toe says, with Ring you can adjust the detection zone it's, if you're annoyed at the notification. I shorten the zone more. So um, the Ring is like literally right in front of the door and my house, cars will come by. So regardless if it's like close or not, you still see some sort of movement from the cars going in and out. So it's just really, really upsetting. But I gotta deal with it and just really keep an eye out for the neighbors in case there's some sort of drama out there or troubles. All right, so Tan Win says, food looks good. Hope little Ryan have some too. Um, maybe when he's a little bit older. Ting Win says, for the Instant Pot, wait about 15 minutes after it's done cooked to do a quick release, then it won't overflow. Okay, so that's a good advice. The other day my pores just like overflowed like no other, like a freaking waterfall and I had to clean it and it was just a crazy hot mess in the um, kitchen. But thanks for letting me know. If you're not planning to eat it right away, just let it run natural release. It will take about 45 minutes. Love all your videos with Ryan. He's still so cute. Thank you so much. I will do that next time when I cook. Jen Huang says, where did you get the basket that you put your groceries in? So the basket that I put my groceries in is not a grocery basket, but I guess you can put anything in it. I bought it for the reason of putting my laundry in there. And I think I got it on Amazon, I'm not sure. We'll have to uh, relink it when I do find it one day. Okay, so let's see. I'm trying to see the timer because sometimes this camera cuts off if it's too long. So I wanna make sure that I'm getting cut off and answer all your questions accordingly. He's getting a little fussy, so he does that. Okay, so um, Joanne Pham says, my son Skin turned orange when I gave him too much carrot as a baby. This will happen with sweet potatoes too. By the way, Brian is such a happy baby. Yeah, so <laughs> we have been going back and forth with the sweet potatoes and the carrots and the butternut squash. And definitely should start incorporating greens into his diet. For sure. B and OK says, when my babies was babies, I gave them orange veggies and they started to look orangey. I should have started with greens. Greens are a lot harder to eat. Oranges have more sweet. Okay, so we will do the greens soon. Christine Pham says, she, she's such a drama queen. Yes, I am. <laughs> this is referring to my vlog from a long time ago. It's a uh, relationship problem solving. It's when Brian would not listen to me about taking the trash out of his pockets before putting it into the laundry. And it frustrated me because to me, it's annoying to pick it all out. And it's more about him not listening to me than the actual act of it and not respecting my wishes when I ask him to do it. So, you know, through time and time again, I get mad and it grows and it builds up inside. So. I just blew up and since then he's probably done it once, but it's okay, it's, it's uh, getting better. He's getting better with the um, leaving his stuff around and all that stuff, just being clean. Dolly says, you sound like Miley Cyrus and Nicki Minaj. I guess. <laughs> Tan Win says, I know you've been cooking a lot, but for some reason you look like you lost weight. I mean, you look skinny. Oh my God. You better get little Ryan off boobies. Can't really imagine the pain. I guess I kind of did lose weight because when I cook, I don't really eat my own food. But um, naturally, when I cook, I just don't feel hungry. I guess because I'm staring at it all the time and trying to taste it and see if it's a good taste. And once I taste a little bit of it, I'm done. I'm not hungry anymore. All that exhaustion of cooking it just made me over it so I don't eat it as much and um, I've been really tired with baby because I haven't slept for a couple days so maybe my face is starting to like shrink and I have bags under my eyes who knows but definitely need to start sleeping the same time he sleeps because he um, will need my attention when he's awake but it's really hard because at night he sleeps with his face like literally stuffed on the pillow like that. So it's really, you know, scary to watch him and go to sleep knowing that he's like that. So we kind of constantly watch him. Well, at least I do. Brian falls asleep faster than I do and easier. So I'm always staring at him and making sure that he's still moving and alive. Susie QB says, Minnie just pinched his nose and he won't let go. Eventually, he will learn not to bite. It doesn't hurt him and save your nipples. Yes. So we're trying to train him to not bite mommy's nipples. Use it for only food and not play. Okay. <laughs> okay, Lindley says, oh my God, baby's so, so cute. He's half your size already. Yes, he is. My goodness. My Tian Nguyen says, I think you should switch to pump and give him milk through the bottles 
only if he is biting your nipples. When my brother was a little kid, he did the same thing to my mother, had an infection, so it led to a very serious, very serious thing. So I tried to stop weaning him, but I got back on it because I felt bad, and um, I want him to get the best nutrition for his growth and health. So I went back on feeding him, and um, I googled if you're okay to breastfeed him while bleeding. It says yes, because it's not going to get into his system or affect him much. But I aerated and cleaned my boobs and let him, you know, nurse on one side instead of the other side until this side was um, cured and then I was okay to put him back on this side. So, that's what um, the status is right now. Tyler says, great video. Keep it up, dude. Thanks, dude. Isabel Fab says, what a happy baby boy and man. Yeah. Right now he's a little bit fussy though. He, he probably wants to sleep another hour or so. Toile says, Hey Gungwa, thank you so much. Ha Yang says, he's the cutest baby boy I've ever seen. Thank you. Han Huang says, I agree, I love his eyes. Thank you. And I think that's about it. We are good, honey. Look at him. No, 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 no. <laughs> Sink downstairs is clogged. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I've been cooking a lot or something went down the wrong drain, but I think the sink is constipated. <laughs> so it can't digest its food and clear the way for us to um, drain more and wash the dishes and whatnot. I'm going to head to Home Depot, get a snake and snake that drain so it can have a better flow. Probably get some Drano and um, pour it down there as well. This sink has been a problem for the past couple years. So we have to really find the core issue and not ignore it. Now that I'm here to kind of clean up this place and make sure it's together, uh, I want to be able to clear the pathway for this house and make it good for this baby to roam around. We're not sure if we're going to move back here yet. Um, I see that baby reacts better here because there's more room and I move around the house more often and more productive because at the other place it's just one room and I'm just sitting there and I'm staring at Brian and for baby he's just really frustrated as well and here he has other places to roam so we've been here most of the time also to take care of my brother with his surgery so um, we don't know yet but during this time of the coronavirus and everyone's just like freaking out and so we are staying put and um, not spending more money in the market but still looking out to see if there are any other houses we'd like to check out or any investments we would like to do that will be on hold but you know keep an eye out for something later in the future so yeah um also i've been seeing a lot of people like trying to gouge on prices for toilet papers and such but i think manufacturers here in the u.s will be okay with toilet papers and sanitizers so if you don't have toilet papers and you and it's sold out at your store then you can always use the um shower to wash your butt <laughs> the bidet or a wet wipe cotton nail wipes to wipe your bum all right so um because we are going through this uh pandemic brian and baby and then we'll stay home and i will go out there and risk my life to save the drain Let's go to Home Depot. Brian just put baby down in the stroller, but we have to transfer him because I don't like him in the stroller at night. He's talking to my sister on FaceTime. And let's go check on Vin. Can you put baby in his bed, Brian? Okay. What is Vin doing? Brian's like, is there more food? <laughs> Are you done? You cooked it already? Yeah. Is this it? No, it's inside. Oh, it's inside. Ah, I see. Drain is messed up. We bought this, um, the snake and we haven't fixed it yet, but we should. Um, there's a problem with the, there's, we're and FaceTiming AT day. right now, but, but they, there's they problems get all paid. It's all with paid the and sink. All paid. And Vin just cooked all of our... That's pretty awesome. Oh, he kind of burnt it, but it's okay. And we got the lettuce. With potatoes yeah, that's what and like. yeah. on the I told them that I didn't want to cook it tonight, but I guess they want to. And um, so. it's good. <laughs> I do like Brian being home because he's more present with baby here and there, and he doesn't have to go into his meetings. You know, being there for the family here and there. So I do appreciate his efforts here and there. He works a lot. 
and he does, like I said earlier, he does make money through his contracts. It's unpredictable. At the same time, even though he makes income, he's very generous with his money. So he gives it out to people who are unnecessary, basically. So he's just a really nice person, and I just gotta hold it down because sometimes it's just kind of like you have your own family. I would rather have him put that towards. The snake right here, and we're gonna snake the dr the drain. This is pretty bad. You guys see this? The drain has been crazy, and we gotta handle it. All right, Vin. What you got? Oh yeah. It's time for plating soon. Okay, so hubby decided to go to the store because he thinks he should take on the role, be out there. Hopefully, it's going to be good because. I got a lot of cooking to do. Close eye on baby. Why his camera is the best? Because we can zoom in and see that he's breathing here and there. Yes, good. Meanwhile, Vin is cooking on the stove because on the grill was not good enough. It didn't cook enough. Wonderful. He's got the... Um, Mashed potatoes, baked potatoes, baked potatoes, and then he's going to plate it very, very soon. I'm thinking of a way. That's what it looks like. Final product, but seriously, it looks like this and this. <laughs> but that's presentation. Presentation. It's important. And um, Brian's still doing his thing down there. 